Pluto's atmosphere is hard to observe from Earth. We can only study it when the dwarf planet passes in front of a distant star, allowing us to see the effect the atmosphere has on starlight. Astronomers saw the atmospheric haze extending as high as 1,000 miles, 1,600 kilometers, rising higher above the surface than the atmosphere on Earth. When scientists analyzed the haze, they found about 20 layers, both cooler and more compact than expected. NASA's New Horizons team found that tons of nitrogen gas escaped the dwarf planet by the hour. But somehow, Pluto is able to constantly resupply that lost nitrogen. The dwarf planet is likely creating more of it through geological activity. We have known about Saturn's ring since humans started using telescopes in the 1600s. But in the last 50 years, with our technology blooming, we have found more rings. We now know that every planet in the outer solar system, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, each have ring systems. In comparison to Saturn, however, other planets have very dim rings. We have also found rings around the asteroid Cheriklo, which orbits the Sun between Saturn and Uranus. In January 2015, Caltech astronomers Konstantin Batigan and Mike Brown announced their hypothesis for the existence of a ninth planet in our solar system. Researchers have found patterns of objects in the Kuiper Belt the region beyond Neptune that support the idea of the existence of Planet Nine. The way those objects clump together suggests that gravity from something big out there is tugging on them. Brown has already discovered several large objects in that area that in some cases rivaled or exceeded the size of Pluto. These discoveries were one of the catalysts for changing Pluto's status from planet to dwarf planet in 2006. The Van Allen radiation belt is a zone of energetic charged particles, most of which originate from the solar wind. We have known about these belts for decades. But the launch of the Van Allen probes in 2012 has provided our best ever view of them. Data from the probes revealed that the belts expand and contract according to solar activity. Sometimes the belts are very distinct, and sometimes they swell into one massive belt. An extra radiation belt beyond the known two was spotted in 2013. Uranus's moon, Miranda, looks like it was pieced together from parts that didn't quite merge properly. This moon of Uranus has bizarre features on its surface, with sharp boundaries separating ridges, craters, and other things. At about 500 kilometers in diameter, it's only one-seventh as large as Earth's moon, a size that seems unlikely to support much tectonic activity to create these bizarre features. One theory suggests the moon was smashed into bits and coalesced again. Another says meteorites might have struck the surface and caused temporary melts in small areas. But we will never know until a mission gets out there. Please like, comment, and if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to the channel. It would really mean a lot to me.